Hello there, everybody. Welcome back for some more Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And today we need to go take down a couple more bosses to open up that little fucking spell thing here. And now we're gonna go through these weird ass fucking bubbly pod baby looking shit. It's kind of disgusting. It is. But uh, just kind of get used to it, I guess, because this, I think, might be the only place that actually has it. And sometimes they do actually spawn fucking enemies. So. That's why I'm a little bit more careful with what I do, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, fuck it, I want to try to pop every pod as well. So just kind of be on the lookout for that. Uh, there's really no true designated way to tell. I don't think they're random by any means, because I think they're probably, like, really specific on where they're at. More than likely. I wasn't trying to UT there, but apparently the game decided that I was going to. Ah, fuck it, I don't care. Oh, nope, there's no more there. I think we actually go down that way. Yeah. Okay, so before we go down that way, let's go check the area for any, like, items or anything. She never know. Oh, see. Well, no, that's a body. It's just, uh, oh, here's an actual body. Well, all right. I guess I'll take some, I'll take an herb then. Fuck it. What's that glow on there? Nothing important. All right. Uh, this is where I think we started at, actually. Yeah, because that's the door. And then that, I haven't gone that way yet. Let's go find out what this does then, huh? No enemies yet. Wow. Holy shit. Devil's Way Mushroom. I could use one of those, actually. Yeah, fuck yeah. Like, Nippo doesn't come back as easily as fucking health does. Nothing over here. Yeah, you can tell that the Spider Clan really definitely likes their idea of spiders, don't they? Well, the other thing is, too, we are in hell, and as you can note, as you can downright tell, they're more dynamic looking than, you know, the previous, um, installations, or the previous versions of these characters. Holy shit! What was that? God damn! So instead of having Flying Swallow, it has this really fucking kick-ass, like, lift-off lift off move like that. We just, like, beat the shit out of somebody in midair. That's fucking ridiculous, guys. Holy cock. I really... Oh, it does have flying well. Okay. It's just, you have to have a target there. Oh, fuck me then. All right. Hell you. Yeah, they look a lot more fiendish than they did earlier. Which I think in this universe, I think fiends are what they consider demons. Or they consider demons fiends, they call them that. So it's... It's practically the same thing. They're still monsters regardless. They're still ugly as fuck. Well, depending on what kind of anime you're watching, I guess. <laughs> they might not be. But, uh, anyway. Fucking, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, and of course, it's also, like, Succubi and Incubi. But not in this game, unfortunately. That would have been pretty awesome, you know what I mean? I mean, because, like, it's funny, like, everybody depicts Succubi and Incubi as, like, you know, really hot people and what have you. But that's kind of the point, right? Like, they're, they're sexual demons, and don't they, like, steal your energy from jerking you off or something like that? And of course, there's like a lot of people out there who are like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. But like, it, like you have like no choice, right? Like you become like a slave at that point. I mean, fuck, like if I could get fucked every day, I mean, yeah, that'd be great too. But at the same time, I don't know, that would be the best choice. <laughs> best option. I still like to have my freedom choice. It's like, hell, just give me a fucking video game to play and I'll be fine. Fucking, let me continue recording and I'll be a slave. Fuck yeah, I'll be a sex slave any day. Let me do what I want to do. What I want to do, when I want to do it, and there you go. That's it. Then when we're in bed, you take control. <laughs> That's gonna fucking haunt me, isn't it? It's gonna fucking bite me in the ass one of these days. Everything I say on here will probably end up biting me in the ass. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. I'm generally just what I consider probably more likely cursed, if anything. When it comes to, like, female interaction into relationships. <laughs> because I'm just not well acquainted and good enough to have anybody as a partner, if anything. Because that's what I get, I guess, for being stupid, apparently. Okay. I'm really getting really fucking sick and tired of fighting these goddamn spider demon douchebags. Because you have to fucking knock them down, and then you gotta try to fucking kill them. It's kind of lame, if you ask me. It gets really old real quick. It's kind of funny, like, they drop that fucking triangle finishing move off, like, right after the first chapter. Oh, yeah, fuck it, we don't need any more. Well, yeah, we don't, but I mean, like, it would have made sense if you would have done it for every other boss, but apparently you're just like, no, select bosses only. Okay, that makes sense to me. Not really. So I guess now we're going to continue on. Continue forth. Young Padawan, find a fucking chest. It's in here somewhere. Find the key. It's hidden in Alaska. God, I don't remember the fucking name of that game was called. I think it was OBS. But it was a fucking awesome kids game, though. Back when I was a youngin', of course. 
Get some fucking nympho out of that. That's good. I'll take the rest. Sure. Hop down here because we got... Wait, there's a thing. I missed it. Oh, well. My Sonia, what a dear little bird you are. <laughs> oh, a beautiful canary trapped in a cage. Stop it. Oh, yes. That's it, yes. Sing for me. Sing again and again. <sighs> that maggot! Dragon Ninja is here! You will die! So now he really is pissed, and he really wants to kill us now. But fortunately, this should be the last of this douchebag. Which I think this guy was named Alexa, and then there was Elizabeth. Elizabeth, or whatever you want to fucking call her. I'm gonna call her fucking Elizabeth, okay? Because, like, that, that to me just makes more damn sense. What the shit did you even aim at there for you? I had no intention of hitting whatever the fuck you were going for. So just like he was last time, he's pretty much fucking pathetically easy again. I mean, he's he's harder than most bosses, of course, but now apparently he's just being a little bit nicer to us. So that's good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, typically like any like humanoid bosses that have like speed moves like this are more of a pain in the ass than anything. Oh fuck, dude. Come on, give me a few hits, please. Well, I mean, you are losing my half your fucking health, so... You are dying rather quickly. Oh, shit, he's gonna explode, isn't he? I'm gonna explode all over your chest. I'm gonna shoot my load all in, all over your insides. No homo. <laughs> what a fool. Ryu, I'm so sorry. Sonia, stay here and don't move. Understood? Okay, so that's going to be the last of the hearts. So again, we have three Heart of Azure Lightning. And now, Sonya needs to stay right there. Fucking, there's really nowhere she can go unless she jumps completely across that. But I don't think she's going to go and attempt that, to be honest. And now, going through this level that looks like it got ripped straight from fucking Shadow the Hedgehog, we're going to go find this fucking other boss, possibly, if there even is another boss, which I could have sworn there was, like, a thing we have to do. I, I thought we had to fight, like, a couple bosses to open up that fucking elevator-looking thing. Well, apparently not. Maybe not. Who knows? It looked like there's multiple pathways, which I could have... I swear to God, there was. Like, I shit you not, I swear to God, there is. Ah, oh, fuck it. Who knows, really? The thing is, we don't have to go back all that fucking way. Fortunately, we don't. Oh, thank God, I got the UT on her. And Ryu decided to go and stop. Ryu, don't stop. Okay, now... Let's use something big. Something big and hefty. I mean, yeah, I could easily use the Eclipse Scythe. But, I mean, who would want to use that one, right? No, just kidding. You'd be a fucking retard if you said that. I'd have to kill you. You know what? Fuck this. Nimpo your asses. I can at least take out three of you with one Nimpo shot. Oh, god damn. Ouch. Can I get a kiss? <laughs> Oh, fuck me. And the butt? Hey. Wow, I got a UT charge without even thinking about it. No, I mean, I did it on purpose, but I didn't think it was going to take that... I didn't think it was going to be that short of a charge. Holy shit. Alright. Unless it wasn't a UT at all. I just fucking thought it was. 
Honestly, who even knows, to be honest. That's a fucking UT. Now, anyway, back on course of action here. Let's wipe these bitches out. Honestly, if I had to say, the MS Fang might be one of the more preferred weapons to use on these bastards. At least I prefer to use it on these bastards. I mean, yeah, you could say, like, well, you know, different weapons, you know, give different things to different enemies. Specific enemies are weaker to different shit. Which, apparently, you know, like, these heavier weapons seem to be doing a pretty damn good job of cutting them up, though. The Dragon Sword is pretty much good all around, no matter what. I mean, every weapon's great all around, but, I mean, there's always those specific characters that we want to kill off with specific items, of course. And we go that way, okay. I was gonna say, there's a mushroom there, but I didn't really use a Nimpo. I did, but I got it back, so I don't really need- Oh, fucking, thank God. Thank God you're here. I could do what I do with I, you know, when I do the devil mushroom, but again, like I said before, health is much easier to get back than Nimpo is. Nimpo is kind of like a bitch to get back, though. And wipe you out. See, I don't know if I beat chapter 16 or not on my hard playthrough. All I know is it says chapter 16 something. That's it. And I could have sworn that we fight Elizabeth. You know, it's funny, like the entire time I kept saying Alexia. So you never know. I could have been talking about him and just been lying this entire fucking time or I can tell you guys the straight truth and just say I have no fucking clue what I'm talking on my ass well the thing is I do know that I have a chapter 16 and or chapter 16 completed profile on hard mode a mentor mode I know that for a damn fact now whoever we fight in that chapter I don't know well I do know now because we just kicked his ass so there's that who knows what I'm even stuck on at this point I'd have to go back and find it. I haven't played it for a fucking long time. Did you see that guy? Fucking on the other the left side right there? Just fucking flew over. That was funny. Okay. Back on track here. Swipe these bitches out. It's a nice golden shower. Ho! Oh, there we go. Only problem is I don't think we can go back though. So we're kind of stuck on that. You know, we're kind of stuck on this shit. Let's we get some herbs and some health around here. That'd be nice. I would definitely love to have that. Okay, fuck these guys, seriously. I'm about to use, like, a different... Yeah, you know, I'm about to use a weapon I have not used in a long time. I used the Tompas recently, too. I didn't use the fucking twin... Fuck the twin dragon swords. They're practically fucking shit. What's this? Let me guess. Nimpo, right? God damn it! What do you know? What do you know? What do you know? What are you buying? Well, oh, hey, fuck it. Health station. Alright, kick ass. Never mind. Fuck the health problem, then. Okay, be really careful here. And I'll show you why in just a second. You see where fucking Ryu's aiming at? Yeah, there's gonna be these bastards. Now, more than likely, they might be able to grab me from up here if they jump up. So, instead, I'm gonna stay back here and pick them off this way. Because, like, if we fall in that fucking blood water, they're gonna tear our ass a new one. Because that's what they do. That's what they do. Come on, come on. Fucking, I know you're all probably dead by now. Come on, seriously. Hopefully they can't grab me from up here. That would be a that would be a bitch. I don't see any more. I don't think there's any more popping out. Now if you want to see what's inside, wait, actually they probably pop out. No, there was some down here. Yeah, there was some down here earlier. Let's go take a look and see if there's anything actually worth getting. Or worth seeing. I don't see shit. I mean there always could be something on the other side, but You know what? Just for curiosity's sake, I'll check. Alright. You guys are lucky I'm fucking looking. Usually I won't do this. I don't see anything, though. It's like, if they ever have anything, you know, down there, they'd usually have it on, like, the main path. Another thing that Ninja Gaiden 2... Actually, one thing that Ninja Gaiden 2 did that I don't like is you can't fucking just hang on to the run button. You'd have to fucking press and tap X all the damn time just to fucking get across. So it wasn't obvious enough. I'm pretty sure I know where this game got its inspiration from for all the blood fucking lakes and stuff. More than likely, God of War. God damn it. Hopefully nobody's really, like, waiting for, like, Challenge of the Gods. I mean, I do want to do it, but, you know, it's one of those things that do, like, one run. It's a pain in the ass. And I'm lazy. Oh, fuck. Maybe this, maybe this might be where I'm actually stuck at. Okay, well, anyway. Let's end this. <laughs> Genshin, go back to hell. You've got to be kidding me. So that wasn't the fucking last time we fought him. God damn it. 
They fucking cheat me out. Like, I could have sworn, if you kill somebody in hell, they're probably gonna stay... They're probably gonna go somewhere else. Like, you know, Detroit or something. Well, apparently, I guess Detroit wasn't enough of him, so now he became a fucking fiend. Practically got a nice little fucking purple tan going on there. Holy shit, is he quick. I wonder if I can actually even Azuna drop his ass. Probably not. I'm gonna go ahead and do these guillotine attacks, then. Let's fuck, these, fuck this guy, seriously. Fuck this guy hard. Gotta, w gotta wait up, bait out his attacks, just wait for him to end, uh, end off his attacks, though. And then go on for a nice, easy fucking triangle, triangle attack, and there you go. That's, that's what I'm gonna recommend right now. Wait for him to get done fighting, you know, get done hitting you, and then go in. Because fortunately this game, the Ninja Gaiden series, is not too much bullshit to where they'll just constantly attack you no matter what. Ninja. All grows dark and silent. I have staked my name. I have fought with all of my being. All to forge a future for the Black Spider Clan. I have no regrets. Just as you have pursued a cause greater than yourself, so too have I. Dragon Ninja, take my cursed blade. Absolutely useless. I gave you the everlasting life of a fiend, yet you threw it away. <laughs> Undone by your pathetic sentimentality. Even in death, you could never understand him. Elizabeth. Okay, so now we're gonna fight Elizabeth once again, of course, but this time with both the Dragon Sword and the Cursed Blade. So you're probably thinking like this might be an easier fight with two swords. Well, uh, I mean it's just like a normal fight again, once again, of course. Unfortunately, we don't have a fucking flying swallow. That's gonna make it a little bit harder to fucking do. Oh shit! Uh, any new attacks that she's gathered? I think she's only gathered that blood attack, and I think a grab. Oh, there is flying swallow. Okay. Just have to have a fucking target, apparently. I hate when they do that. Got our dumbass tail whip thing again. And yeah, that's not fun, ever. I do love... I love her design, though, to be honest. I mean, something like... Butterfly shit like that always kind of looks pretty cool. If done correctly. I mean, like Bayonetta, sort of. Yeah, Bayonetta did alright, I think. Did alright job. Until Dawn ruined the whole fucking butterfly thing for me. I fucking... Guys, I'm sorry. I don't like that game whatsoever. It... It's fucking boring to me, okay? I'm sorry. They had so many fucking obnoxious characters to it, too. Mainly, like, one particular one. Oh, god damn. Yeah, she's got a lot of fucking grabs, it seems like. At least two that I've seen. Which is more than enough that she needs. I'm gonna stick with these two swords just for the fuck... Just for the sake of trying to be cool and edgy. I mean, because, you know, why not? Might as well defend, you know, Genshu's honor and kick her ass with his sword. And my sword at the same time, because, like... She deserves it. She definitely deserves it. Being a little bitch! Yeah, no, right? Surprisingly enough, she's the one behind fucking everything, apparently. She's almost dead, though, so we got her. And she's done. Okay, so we can grab, once again, another heart. And this should be the last heart, I would believe. Uh, I could have sworn the other one was the last heart. Heart of Crimson Blood. No, I guess that was the last one. Alright, well, now we're going to go with this fucking mystical portal that might lead me to the end of, like, nowhere. And I have no fucking clue what's going to happen, but I might as well step inside of it, right? Got nothing else to do today. I mean, it's fucking Friday. Oh, shit. Oh, no. 
Oh, no, we're not. We're not doing that shit again. We're not fucking finding these assholes once again. Come on, guys. Can we just get over this damn game already? I think probably by the next episode or two, we might be close to being done. So, yeah, it wasn't really much of a long playthrough. But then again, I'm pretty fucking quick at this game. Eh, alright. Don't worry, you guys will get my final thoughts on the credits. No big deal. Oh, shit. Let's check out those UTs, though. Oh, damn. I mean, yeah, the UT is pretty fucking nice, though. Yeah, it is pretty fucking tight. Okay. Alright, Jeff. Ow. You tag it. Ding a hing a ding. Let's burn these guys. I think these guys are gonna last for quite some time though, so. Might as, might as well use what we have at our disposal, correct? Correct the mundo? Yep, I guess we have to have one of those fucking target things again. I hate flying swallows like that. It's not fun. It's so engaging. Holy shit. Charge up and let her rip. Nope, never mind. My Beyblade fucked. My Beyblade fucking sucked. I got fucked on that one. Give me Pegasus! Oh god, Jesus Christ. They're aggressive as shit today, aren't they? Well then again, like once you fucking kill them, they go to hell. I'm pretty sure they're probably more likely pissed off. Yeah! I mean, <laughs> I'd be pissed off too. If I was a black spider clan. Fortunately, I'm not. So, I'm good on that one. Eh. Although they actually do look pretty cool fiend-wise, though, to be honest. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. That's it. Yo, no, yo, me. Well, you know, to be fairly honest, I actually forgot about that guy ever existing in the first place. Yeah, I know, that's pretty fucking sad. Because I thought that maybe she might have been like the last of all this, but I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. No, there's still more we gotta do. Oh, fucking lovely. Well, good thing is, at least I can, you know... Okay, wait, hold on. I'm running out of Nimpo. Let's use that. And then let's buy some more Nimpo. I have not actually used Muramasa's food yet. Hell, I might not even do it in this whole fucking playthrough, who knows. And I haven't really used my scroll in a while either. So technically I have died quite often. It's just I haven't exactly gotten a game over from dying either. So that's going to be... You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to end off the episode here, folks. And in the next episode, we may or may not be taking out the final boss. I don't exactly remember who technically it was. But I do know one boss in particular we're going to fight. And it's going to be a big one. And it's going to be easy as shit. So... As always, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time when we play some more Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And as always, take care, everybody.